Hey, I'm Jeff with Avid Max, and today we've got the Fish Pond Green River Gear Bag. It's a, a great bag. I think it's a perfect size for um, you know, those quicker trips down to the river where you want to make sure that you've got all your stuff with you, but don't want to be toting around a duffel bag with you. It's got a couple of cool features, um, especially things like the waterproof molded bottom here. That way, if it's sitting a little bit too close to the bank and getting splashed up or sitting in some mud, you're not going to have to worry about soaking any of the stuff on the inside either. I've also just been amazed at the amount of places for storage on this bag. So as you see here, on each side it has two pockets. So it's got um, the one pocket that's a little bit bigger there, nice to throw stuff in, and then just a smaller zippered mesh pocket on the outside here as well. Right there, and that's the same on both sides. On the top here, you also see there is another littler kind of thin storage pouch here. I think that's great just to be able to throw, you know, kind of a wallet, car key, something like that in there that you don't really want to get mixed up with the rest of your gear and is really easy to get to. You're also going to see a couple of loops here in the front. That is to hold a, um, a rod tube. And then in the back, it's got some spots where you can throw some little gear ties through and be able to put another one back there if you need to as well. Here in the front, it's got a lot of these little Hypalon tabs everywhere. It's just great to be able to hook a lot of your different tools to without worrying about damaging any of the bag at all. And then it's also got a great spot here in the front to throw a few more things. Maybe you got some pliers that you're gonna throw in there. And then another pretty decent um, sized pouch here. And as you can see on the inside, it also has a couple of other little stash pockets. It's got one bigger one in the back and then two little mesh ones. This is a nice little fold down fly bench here as well. So you can see there, you can use that as a little bit of a workstation if you want to. It even has a removable foam pouch that actually would fit on the front there as well if you wanted to do that. So you've got that as you open up the inside of it here. You see it's got a, a great carrying handle right there on the lid, but as you open up the inside of it, you see that it's just got room for a ton of stuff in it. It's got a nice little pocket here on the top. Even though it's only got one zipper here, it is three different pockets. So they've got these little dividers. So you just unzip the one time you get to all the pockets, but they're a little bit spread out. Then on both the front and the back, it has two um, skinnier zipper pockets there. It's great for organizing stuff. And then it has a couple of extra pockets here that I think is great for just being able to throw a couple of extra reels in there in case you need them. And then it also has these dividers in there and these come out pretty easily so you could have both of them in there none of them in there one it really is uh, a way to design it so that you can fit all of the stuff that you need to in the bag um, you know maybe you've got all your fly boxes on one side and then kind of all your extra tools on the other the great thing about this bag is just how versatile it is in that you can set it up however you want to and you're going to be able to keep all of your stuff in there. If you don't want to be carrying it around just with the top handle here everywhere, they've also included a nice padded adjustable shoulder strap as well. And there are just some little D-rings on each side. That way, uh, if it's a little bit longer walk, you can take this and just throw it over your shoulder, whatever you need to, to be able to get all of your gear down to the water there. So if you're looking for a bag that has a lot of different ways to organize all of your stuff and is big enough to carry all of it without seeming so big that it's gonna be uh, in your way as you're hiking down or just a little bit too big that you don't really feel like marching down to the water with it. Um, I really think this bag is, is just a great bag that kind of fits the bill as an all around bag it doesn't get too big to get in the way, but it's still small enough to go anywhere with you. If you liked our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, as well as add any comments or suggestions down below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to our Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there. I swear my love is true, I use my heart over my mind. I'm not over you.